Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I will show you how to make your Windows 11 look like macOS Monterey. With that said, let me show you the first step of making your Windows look like macOS and this is by this modification by Nivo and it's called LIT3 for Windows. And this is simply the three uh, dots on the top right corner which we will modify to look like macOS one. So simply double on this file from uh, DeviantArt and then go to start a curtains web page and here download this curtains program for our Windows 11 and then go to your downloads folder and here we have curtain setup double left click on it and click yes and right now you should see that this program isn't actually compatible with Windows 11 and it says right here curtains is not yet compatible with Windows 11 would you like to visit the Windows 11 compatibility web page right here I will click no then I will go to curtain setup right click on it go to show more options and then I will click properties and under here you will go to compatibility tab run this program in compatibility mode 4 and here I will select Windows 8 and click apply and then ok and right now double left click on the curtain setup and now you should be able to install uh, curtains from Stardock right now when you have Stardock curtains installed on your system, simply go to download folder and search for LIT3 LIT for Windows and extract the file, then go to the folder once again and here go to the Stardock curtains and here we have these specific themes for our Stardock curtains and I will just pick LIT3 uh, for Mac. So double left click on this one. And right now you should see this specific theme also in Stardock Curtains program. Right now I will search for that one. So LIT3 here by Nivo, double left click on it and close my universal applications. And also I will close my browsers as well. And as you can see, you should be able to have this uh, three dots at the top right corner. As you can see, it works just flawlessly. So the next thing that I will actually add to our Windows 11 is macOS icons which are also made by Nivo on DeviantArt page. Simply download Big Sur 2 Windows 10 theme for um, our Windows 11 and simply download this file from DeviantArt. But this file does require another program which is called 7TSP which will actually help to install our icons on our Windows. So simply then go to your downloads folder and here you will see that we have this 7TSP um, program right here in the folder and right now you will you you should see right here rename uh, AEE to exe file so right click on it show more options and then go to the rename option and simply here enter the exe file so I will rename the file to the exe and then go back to the downloads folder right now I will go to our Big Sur 2 for Windows here I will go to 7TSP icon team and here I will uh, remove this uh, ending of the file just uh, on the light mode. So simply I will remove this uh, ending of the file and it should says only 7-zip. Then go to the downloads folder itself once again and here I will go to 7TSP folder and I will double left click on the exe file that we created earlier. So click yes right here. And right now you should see that we have 7TSP up and running. Add a custom pack, here go to the downloads folder, Big Sur 2 for Windows. Once again go to 7TSP icon team and here we have this 7-zip file that we created also earlier. Then click open and right now you should see um, these macOS icons for our Windows 11 here. You will also enable this setting, create new system restore, restore point when patching. I will highly recommend you guys to do this because of your system um, risk. So uh, enable this feature as well, then uh, go to start patching option and click continue. So the next thing is to add our macOS dock to our Windows. So simply I chose here Rocket Dock, but you can also choose Nexus Dock. And one great alternative is also Rounded Taskbar, which I also made video about it. And I will also put a link in video description down below. So don't forget to check it out. So simply click here download button for our Rocket Dock and for the skin for Rocket Dock is actually this one from Maguris on DeviantArt and it's macOS Monterey for Rocket Dog. This is the skin and also the icons for our Rocket Dog. And I think it looks quite 
need. So simply download these files, then go to the Rocket Dock installation in your Dolan's folder, click yes and install Rocket Dock. Then you should also simply see the Rocket Dock on your screen, then go to the dock settings and here I will go to the position. Here I will select the layering option to the always on bottom and also screen position on the bottom as well. Then on the edge offset I will prefer my option to let's say 10 pixels and I think this one looks the best in my opinion. Here as you can see we also have the overlay of the, our taskbar on Windows 11. Simply go to the taskbar settings then co go to the personalization tab. Here on the taskbar behavior I will pick this option automatically how the taskbar so simply this uh, our taskbar on Windows 11 won't bother us on our actual macOS dock on our Windows 11 and I think it looks quite nice. When you actually download the, the macOS Monterey uh, skin for our Rocket Dock, here you will go to this extracted folder. Yes, you need to extract it first and then you will go to this um, uh, themes for our dock. So simply I will just pick Monterey Lite, I will right click on it, copy the file, go to local disk C program files and here I will go to the Rocket Dock folder and here I will go to the skins folder and paste it right here. So paste your skin into the ski Rocket Dock skin folder installation. So simply back, go back to the downloads folder. Here I will also go back to our macOS Monterey for Rocket Dock. And here I will uh, copy these um, macOS Monterey icons also into the program files Rocket Dock folder. And here I will paste it into the icons folder right now, not the skins one. So simply paste it right here into this specific folder. Simply minimize the file and right now you should see that we have the dock right here at the bottom. Go to the dock settings and here we will change some um, specific settings. So uh, icons, here we have av average quality. You can either choose low quality or high, high quality as well. Then we, under style, uh, we I will choose theme. So specifically, I will choose macOS theme. So where it is, Monterey Light, this is the theme that we will actually use. And here I would like to actually disable these features. So disable icon labels. I don't like this feature, but you can also um, leave it on enabled as well. So here I will disable the icon labels and here under opacity I will select 80% on the opacity of our dock then under behavior you can also select auto hide option or pop up on mouse wall over as well on your prefer preference right so I think this one looks the best right now here I will also put the icons on the left and right now I will also show you how to change these specific icons on our dock so right click on the icon go to the icon setting and here uh, where we pasted the, our icons for our uh, dock uh, previously, right? It should load right here. And here I will pick just one icon that I really like, for example, Discord. But I really uh, prefer you guys to actually uh, add this uh, some application to your dock and then apply the proper icon to this specific uh, icon, right? To, to the actual program, right? So right now I will also show you how to do that. So simply if you want to, let's say I want to create another um, exe file of our, let's say I want, let's say I want um, um, Microsoft Edge for example, I will open file location here, I will create a shortcut, simple shortcut right here, I will put it here into our um, uh, dock right here and as you can see we have Microsoft Edge right here up and running. I will go to the icon setting, go to the icons, then I will select a preferred option for that specific icon. So I hope that my guru has actually added Microsoft Edge uh, icon right here, but if he doesn't, I will actually select, let's say Safari. I think it's a good alternative. So simply I will click okay. And as you can see, you have Microsoft Edge up and running from the your dock. And as you can see, it looks like that right now. So the next thing that I will add to our windows is actually macOS cursor on the event art as well as many other items in this video as I said before. So these are the macOS cursors for windows from Deviant Diamond 8 Fighter on Deviant Artworks. So download this file and then go to your file explorer and here you will have to extract the, this file that you downloaded then go to the folder of the cursor itself 
double uh, left click on the install file go to the show more options and then click install and click open and then click yes right now nothing should actually change so in the window settings you will search for cursor and then select the option change the mouse pointer display or speed and here I will go to under pointers uh, section and here I will select Mac OS click apply click yes and click ok as you can see we have Mac OS cursor on Windows 11 and another thing is that I really like about uh, Mac OS is this uh, drop top for uh, actual tab on the top of the Mac OS so this tab at, at the top but to actually work with that specific widget you will actually need rain meter because this is a rain meter screen so download and install rain meter and then go to the drop top github and download the drop top file itself and then go to the downloads folder and here you will see the drop top basic version double left click on it and click install make sure rain meter is up and running in the background and here you should also see the pop-up of our drop top here i will select the english uh, us as my preferred language then i will pick here always show drop top I will click Spotify for my preferred media player. I will select a home button as Apple. And here I will also put, put a small as, as always recommended option of this drop down bar. Then I will click color match to my uh, wallpaper uh, of this bar and then click free version or basic version of this program and click maybe later. Right now, you should see that we have this uh, option at the top, uh, run up and running. As you can see, it looks like that. I think it looks beautifully. In my opinion, it looks quite nice and it also matches uh, your uh, color of the wallpaper. So with that said, let me show you the next big thing, which is actual wallpaper so then i will go to the wallpapers home which i get my preferred wallpapers and here i will download this image mac west monterey which i really really like then open the file go to the th three dots at the top and here i will select uh, set as and set as background right now you should see that we have our mac west monterey up and running on our Windows 11 machine. And with that said, I hope you successfully transformed your Windows 11 to look like Mac OS Monterey. And if you did, subscribe and like to this channel would be much appreciated. And that's it. With that being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.